Hey there, I'm Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 18. We are right in the middle of a series of videos all about weaving patterns. I started things off with the most basic plain weave. If you've ever made a pot holder, you have done some plain weave. Over, under, over, under. That's all there is to it. Then we went into twill, which is just a little more complicated than plain weave. Has a diagonal element to it. That's how you kind of recognize it. And twill is responsible for denim, so we love some twill. Then we talked about something called rep weave or rip smata, which has ridges in the fabric. It's kind of a denser fabric and perfect for placemats, table runners, some of those kind of items. Very geometric. Uh, great color blocks to it. It's a lot of fun. Then we talked about some overshot. And when you think of overshot, think of a historical coverlet. Do you know what I mean? Like two colors, cream and navy. It's all about the pattern. Might have flowers, circles, some kind of geometric pattern to it, but it's all about the pattern. This week, we're going to talk about something called double weave. And I gotta say, the name fits. Double weave describes the process of weaving two fabrics at the same time, which gives you all kinds of options. It allows you to weave fabric that is twice as wide as your loom. You can make a tube. You can make a pocket. There's all kinds of cool things you can do with double weave. Let me give you, give you some examples. This is the very end of uh, a double weave project that I did. And you can kind of see, these are, see my two layers? I wove these at the same time on the loom. And what I chose to do in this case was I kept one side open like this and the other side I closed up. Check that out. So when it came off the loom, I could open it up into one piece that was twice as wide as the width of my loom. Pretty slick, huh? Let me give you another example. This is a double weave project that I did to make into placemats. So one of the fabrics was this one, which is brown and cream, and the other one, I forget which was on top and the bottom, but the other one had all these colors to it. So as I wove them together, I would switch which one was on top. Look at the back. Isn't that cool? So you can see the very distinctive um, top and bottom to the fabric. Let me give you one more example. See this guy here? So one layer was this kind of cool lighter textured section and the other one had this dark navy section and then I would switch them. Look at that. So you can see how the two different layers of double weave uh, can interact with each other. You could do some really cool things with it. There's a couple things to know if you're going to do some double weave. First of all, you're going to have twice as many warp yarns as you normally would. Warp yarns are the ones that go through the loom. And it kind of makes sense. You're weaving two fabrics at the same time, so you have twice as many yarns. And the process of double weave, well, if there's ever a time a weaving pattern would cause smoke to come out of your ears, this is it. It's a little bit of a head scratcher, but once you get the hang of it, it is a blast and the possibilities are endless. So if you get a chance, try some double weave. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I have a sweet little freebie just for you to go with this weaving series. It's a 15 page PDF all about the different patterns that I'm chatting about here. And it's all for you. Go ahead and download it from the link below. You can uh, print it off or just have it virtually on your computer. Either way is good. If you got a little something out of this video, go ahead and like, comment, or share. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to know when the next video comes out, go ahead and just hit subscribe. In the meantime, have a great week and happy weaving.